Hi, and welcome to this video where we're going to be running through some typical multiple choice questions on the Year 12 Biology topic uh, 4.3, which is classification and evolution. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to have a go at these questions. You can find them if you follow the link below. So do the questions, follow the link, do the questions, come back to this video. I'm going to mark them, go through them and see if you sort of uh, approach them using the right strategies uh, uh, and if you, you know, looking at some common pitfalls. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to zoom in a little. And then we shall go. Okay, which one of the following is incorrect when writing the scientific name of an organism? So the scientific name of an organism is always two words. It is the genus and then the species. So the genus is capitalized and the species is not. Um, the name can be underlined. The name can be in italics. The generic name does start with an uppercase letter. The specific name does not. Okay, so the specific name, for example, we could write it in italics like this. Homo sapiens, for example. So the specific name does not, so the answer is B. Okay, change that a little bit. Okay, two. Analysis of which of these compounds would not be useful in understanding evolutionary relationships, relationships, sorry, between organisms? Well, it's carbohydrate. Um, DNA would, because you can compare the codes. Protein also would, because you can compare the amino acids, like in hemoglobin of a human versus hemoglobin of a chimpanzee, and see if there are any amino acid differences. RNA as well, if you're looking at the messenger RNA or something like a ribosomal RNA, for example, the 16S RNA uh, has been used a lot in phy phylogenetic studies. Carbohydrates, you know, you can't tell much from looking at starch. So it's a starch is going to be starch in pretty much all organisms. Roughly. Three, which one of the following is not a domain in the three domain classification system? I've made a mistake in this in the past, so I remember now. Um, Archaea is. U bacteria is and eukarya is as well. It's prokaryotes that isn't, okay? So the, there's the, is it the two domain system? Uh, there was an earlier system that I think was called the two domain system that was basically prokaryotes and eukaryotes. But now actually we split prokaryotes into these two. So prokaryotes contain archaea and U bacteria. And they're sort of very, they're, they're very distinct microorganism families, I suppose. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're both single cell, but they're, they're very, very different biochemically. Okay, so the answer is B. Four, which one of the following is not a feature shared by plants and fungi? Okay, well, let's look through them. Presence of a cell wall, yes. Okay, plants, cellulose, fungi, chitin. Presence of starch, no. Okay, I think not because plants have starch, animals and fungi have glycogen. Okay, so glycogen in fungi. Let's just double check and keep going. Presence of a nucleus, yeah, they're both eukaryotes. Presence of ATS ribosomes, yes, that's true. Remember, prokaryotes, bacteria, have 70S ribosomes, which is slightly smaller. I'll put that there, prokaryotes equals 70S. So the answer is therefore B. Five, which of the following kingdoms lack membrane-bound membrane organelles? It's definitely prokaryotes, okay, definitely, but is it anything else? Let's double check. Fungi, well, they do, so it's not fungi. Protoctista, those are eukaryotes as well, so they do, yeah, okay, so it's, it's prokaryotes only. That is a defining feature, in fact, prokaryotes. Six, which of the following kingdoms contains organisms which carry out, ah, carry out autotrophic nutrition? Now, this is, like, tricky wording. So much about biology is actually understanding the wording of the question, so let's just really highlight this. Um, it says... Which of the following contains organisms which carry out autotrophic nutrition? And the key word there is contains, okay? So do any of this type of organism do autotrophic nutrition? Autotrophic basically is photosynthesis, okay? And, but not, not just photosynthesis, it also includes chemosynthesis, which occurs in deep sea vent bacteria and stuff like that, okay? So, right, um, let's look at the... Plants and fungi. Fungi, no. Okay, fungi, no, because fungi do heterotrophic. Proto plants and protoctista. Plants certainly do. Protoctista. Uh, I don't know. Plants, protoctista, prokaryotes. Protoctista do, but not only. Okay, only, no, because there are also other things that do um, autotrophic nutrition. Plants, protoctista, and prokaryote. This is the one. Okay, C. Plants do, protoctista do, 
prokaryotes do. This one is incorrect because fungi, okay? So fungi have to do heterotrophic, okay? So they're not autotrophic. I don't believe I know of any autotrophic fungi. However, plants, yeah, they do photosynthesis. Bacteria, like cyanobacteria, they can do photosynthesis. And I guess some protoctista um, also do photosynthesis, or I don't know the names of them right now. So the answer for that one is C. Okay, moving on to seven. Organisms from which kingdom have hyphae? That's just a simple one, it's fungi. Hyphae, these thread-like structures that grow out from the central, kind of the mycelium of the fungi, they grow out. Okay, moving on. Eight. Which of the following is the study of the evolutionary relationship between organisms? This is called phylogeny. Definition you've got to know. C. Natural classification. Oh, this is, okay, so what do these things mean? Natural classification means classifying groups according to their phylo, phylo sorry, classifying species according to their phylogenetic relationships. Artificial classification is classifying species according to features that are sort of obvious on the surface, sort of their appearance and stuff like that, and their, their shape, their anatomy. Taxonomy is related to, so taxonomy is um, similar to artificial classification. Um, yeah, phylogeny is the relationships. All right, now for the next questions, nine to 12, we first should write in the taxonomic ranks down here. So you've got four grayed out boxes here, so we should write them out. So can you remember the mnemonic device that you that you use? Because there's lots of different ones, but it, the one, the classical one that I seem to remember is did King Philip come over from Great Spain? So what does this mean? Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So to which class does the earthworm belong? That's Sipilata. Answer B. Number 10, to which phylum does the earthworm belong? I have to go back up here. It's the Annelida. So therefore the answer is A. 11, to which family does the earthworm belong? Well, that's Lumbricidae, Lumbricidae. So D. And to which order does the earthworm belong? Going back up, it is Haplotaxida. Haplotaxida, fun, tricky words to say here. 13, which of the following taxonomic groups will contain the least number of species? Well, let's go up a bit and just consider that again. So um, down at the bottom, you know, there's this in this bottom rank, there's only one, this is the one species. Now a genus may contain, you know, I don't know, depending on the genus, it might contain 20 species or two species, or only one living member of the species. For example, we are the only member of the genus Homo, Homo sapiens, but there used to be more of a, more different um, species in our genus, like Homo neanderthalis, uh, Homo floriensis, um, uh, Homo habilis, for example. So basically we get more and more um, numbers of species going up. So which is gonna have the, have the least, it's gonna be whichever one is the lowest, kingly family, genus order, so whichever is the lowest, so it's genus. C. Okay, 14. Which one of the following ta taxonomic groups will contain the highest number of species? This is the, the highest up. So did King Philip domain kingdom phylum? It's phylum. Or um, dinner, king prawn curry, or fat greasy sausages? Yeah, there's another one. So that's C. 15. Which of the following statements about the marsupial mole and placental mole is or are correct? The marsupial mole and placental mole belong to the same genus. No, 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 no. They are very, very distantly related, in fact, because one's a marsupial and one is a placental mammal. So they are they're separated in evolutionary time by a long time. But they do have a similar shape, body, and forelimbs. And because of this, this is an example of convergent evolution to distantly related organisms, both adapting um, and undergoing natural selection to shape the body to the same ecological niche. They both dig underground, one in Australia, one in Europe, and therefore they look quite similar. This is convergent evolution. So two and three are correct, therefore it is C. 16. 
Members of the same class must also be members of the same of which of the following taxonomic groups. So if you're in the same class, you must also be in the same uh, taxonomic group above. So again, let's just write the mnemonic out. Did King Philip come over from Great Spain? So if you are the same class here, you must also be the same phylum, the same kingdom in the domain. So it's this one, phylum. 16C. 17. Which kingdom contains both autotrophic and heterotrophic organisms, some unicellular and others multicellular with membrane-bound organelles? Okay, so this is a tricky one. So, okay, right. So, some unicellular, others multicellular, membrane-bound organelles. Well, let's go look at the membrane-bound organelles. First of all, we can cross out that, okay, because prokaryotes have no membrane-bound organelles. Some autotrophic and some heterotrophic. Pretty much all plants are autotrophic, so not that one. And all fungi are heterotrophic, so not that one. Uh, it's these ones. Prototista, they're weird. Um, yeah, they're, they're super weird things. I'm going to try and, once I finish doing the first part of this video, I'm going to pop in a little snapshot here of a Prototista that is a autotrophic one because I couldn't think of any examples, but there it is. I've edited in a tiny bit of information about it so they can be both some protohista can be heterotrophic, some can be autotrophic. And there you go. All right, moving on to 18. Organisms belonging, sorry, belonging to which one of these kingdoms do not have a cell wall? Fungi do, it's made out of chitin. Plants do, it's made out of um, cellulose. Prokaryotes do, it's made out of peptidoglycan. Prototista, they don't have cell walls. D. Uh, 19. The following description of the genetic material does not apply to which one of the kingdoms? Linear DNA molecule with histones. Okay, so we're talking about eukaryotes here. So fungi are eukaryotes. Plants are eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are not. Protoctista are. So therefore it is C, 19C. 20. Which one of the following is not necessary for evolution to occur by natural selection? Inheritance of genes, that's necessary. Habitat variation, mm, no, not really. Well, let's just double check and let's keep going, but let's put a question mark. Genes affecting reproductive fitness, yeah. So genes have to have an out, have, have an impact on which organisms survive and which don't. And we need variation, otherwise there would be no uh, ability to select some organisms with better genes than the others. So it is B, it's not, not necess uh, necessary. Could help it. But it's not essential. Okay, so that's that. Hope you found those questions uh, helpful to see where the state of your knowledge is. Um, if you realise that you need to go back and look at over the classification stuff, then do so. Use your textbook or use some of the previous videos because actually all of this classification stuff um, we did online. So I have YouTube videos for all of those different topics. For example, uh, the five kingdoms and that sort of thing, or phylogeny. So go back in the video list and have another look if you want to. All right, okay, so that's the last task I'm setting you this week because I'm going to see uh, my students this Friday in school. All right, thanks very much. Bye-bye.